this lesson today, we're going to play some triplets. The definition of a triplet is three notes played evenly in a time of two. And today we're going to be looking at eighth note triplets. So usually with eighth notes, we can play two eighth notes per beat. Counting one and two and three and four and. But when we've got the little three, uh, that's the triplet and the beam across the top tells me there's still eighth notes or quavers. So I'm going to evenly space three notes. One and a two and a three and a four and a. Now because three is an uneven number, that means that each grouping starts with the different hand. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And often as I'm playing, I'm going to be saying right and a left and a right and a left and a. So I know which hand is going to fit with my bass drum. All right, we've got five lines we're going to play through. And you can see on lines, um, sorry, on bars one and two, no bass drums. And then we've got the same rhythms in bars three and four, but we're going to add those bass drums in. So the most important thing is watch your sticking and be counting out aloud as you're playing. Uh, now, we're going to play along with a metronome. Let's open the little app. We are set on 85 beats per minute is where we're going to start. And like all exercises, if it's too fast, simply start slower and then gradually build up your, your confidence until you can play as fast as you can um, where you've got good control. Anyway, here we are, 85 beats per minute today. How did you go? Now remember, if it was too fast, you can also slow the video down um, if you want to play along with the video. But always practice along with your metronome is the most helpful way that we can learn to play nice and accurately. In the second part of our triplets lesson, we're going to be looking at what we describe as swinging triplets or swinging eighth notes. And to create that swinging feel, we take our groups of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, but we're going to drop off the middle note. You can see there's a little rest in the middle, and what's left is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, a two, a three, a four, a two. And it kind of sounds like dot, the dot, the dot, the dot, the that sound that we describe as uh, swinging eighth notes. In the first couple of lines, first three lines, We've just got our swinging eighth notes and then our triplets. And then when we get to the last couple of lines, lines nine and ten, we're mixing our even eighth notes with our triplet eighth notes. So things to be thinking about here, counting is one and two and three and four and. And you notice every beat, because two is an even note, it always falls on the same hand. In this case, I'm leading with my right hand. When I get to my triplets, it's going to be alternating. So we've got one, two, three. the last line one two one two one two three one two three one two one two one two three one two three or one and two and three and a four and a one and two and three and a four and a all right let's put the metronome on and see whether we can play through all of those exercises again we're going to be starting at 85 beats per minute if it's too fast play a little bit slower and 
if you go, that's really easy, I can do that accurately, then we start to speed up. Here we go. So this is starting from line number six. you go. Alright, lots of practice. Enjoy your drumming and we'll see you next time.